No fancy GoPros. No, just garbage that needs to go into my crappy truck. Uh, I have this. This will try to get me through guiding you into home training. This is my house. This is my house. This is where I'll be working out. I am going to show you that if you can work out in my house, you can work out anywhere. Professor Plum in the library. This is my grandfather's bayonet. Pretty cool. So this is one of the smaller rooms in the house and yet it is one that I can use. I, as you can see, have, oh God. I will not be using anything heavy in this room, okay? I brought some equipment with me. No, I won't be using that wall ball. Yes, there's a rower here. Yes, there's a yoga mat. Yes, there's a bench. We'll talk about if you guys don't have equipment. That's the easy part. Space is the hard part. Bands, there's an ab mat. This is like the light workout room. This is the bedroom, otherwise known as the only room in the house where I can press overhead. So anytime I want to go overhead, I got to come up to this room because look, I can clear it just barely. Uh, I will have a sub if you're like me and you have low ceilings, there will be a way to do this if you have no rooms where you can press overhead. This was a shed. It was falling apart. So I took the roof off and now it's where we have human sacrifices <laughs> creepy iron in the corner uh we have leaves everywhere i have to sweep these up obviously but this is on any uh good day where the weather is partially nice actually right now it's not raining i'm gonna be on this concrete so i can drop shit hopefully i get a lot of days like that I'm also gonna try to get creative here, maybe like on that tree, put a wall ball. Uh, if you don't have a space like this, don't worry about it. But if you have an outdoor space, you're gonna to wanna to use it uh, as much as possible. Outdoor spaces are just gonna be usually a little bit more versatile. You guys have to be a little bit creative here. The death basement. <laughs> this is the room that everyone is afraid of. Everyone that's ever visited my house is afraid of this. It's not, is it a room? It's a basement. It's where I keep the dead bodies. That, I don't even know what that's for. Don't even act like you don't have this room in your house. That's organization. <laughs> I need to work on it just a little bit, but We've got a big stack of weights and two barbells right there. That's right, this is where I'm deadlifting. This is where I'm dropping stuff. Uh, when I don't have access to outside, I'm coming in here and I'm lifting big heavy weights. I have a portable rack. Oh, whoa, I didn't put it together yet. You guys will see that together, but I have a portable rack. I'll be back squatting down here as well. If you don't have a portable rack, don't worry, there's subs for that as well. Like I said, I'm uh, rich in the equipment department, I'm poor in the space department, and hopefully you have one or the other, but if you don't have both, we're still gonna make it work. Colonel Mustard with the candlestick. I have a bench. Everyone has a bench or a box or something. Uh, uh, I shouldn't say a box, a chair, right? A chair, everybody's got a chair. If I'm brand new, I'm gonna take my reps up to 10 and I'm gonna squat, touch my butt to the bench or the box and then come right back up, holding on to a dumbbell if I can. Here, sit down, touch, come back up. I can hold weight, sit down, touch, come back up. If I have no weight and body weight squats are easy for me, I am going to go down with uh, one leg, okay? So I'm going to sit down with one leg, touch, come back up. Come back 
Come back up. Take the two dumbbells. Right, they're going up on the shoulders. I know you can't see me just yet. I'm in this position here, my front rack position. If you can hold a front rack position like this, go ahead and do it, but this is acceptable as well. Elbows nice and high. We're gonna sit straight down. Oh, you know how I love these dumbbell squats. We have a lighter weight. All we're gonna do is we're gonna up the reps a little bit to five instead of three, and we're gonna sit down slow. So you're just gonna tempo down, sit down as slow as you can, and then press back up fast. Very important point, if you're light, slow the tempo down. Slowing the tempo down will make it harder. So if the intent is strength, and it said, it'll say strength in sugar wad, then slow your tempo down. I promise this will get cleaner as we go on, hopefully. I've got the rack set up. I've put this as best I can, but today's workout starting with a back squat. If I can, I have my rack and my barbell, and let me show you back squat real quick. There's that pop. This, oh Jesus, that was my head. <laughs> this is a good time to mention barbells. If you've never used them before, don't start now. If you're just finding us, cool. Uh, stick with the body weight or the dumbbells. This is for like super experienced people. I know what I'm doing. I'm on a wobbly rack. I've got a dirt floor. This has YouTube fail video written all over it. I don't have a safe clearance in the back, but during this entire program, I'm not gonna be going very heavy here. I just tidied this up. The bed was not made at all. It's still not made. It just looks better. Push up negative. Plank position. Down we go. Elbows back. down for anyone who's saying holy crap i can't even do a plank or a push-up well look what we have here this is the bed okay boom lower yourself down slow 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 elbows back keep planked don't do that right so you're gonna go all the way down when you get to here, if you can't press back up, you just put your knee down. It's just about the negative. We can do a downward dog press. I'm gonna go from this angle here. You can use an ab mat. You don't really need it for this one, but you can use it. Lean forward, elbows back. Lower yourself down. Knees down, there's your negative. So first day I wouldn't do handstand push-ups, would I? Yes, I would. I have an ab mat for safety. You guys can use uh, a, a, a hoodie, a, a towel, literally anything to protect your head. I'm gonna go up on the wall and I'm gonna do a negative. Kick up. I'm gonna lower myself down slow. Down to my head, I don't worry about pressing back up. I come right back down. For B2, if you do not have dumbbells, you are just going to do push-ups, okay, just. There is no room. If I can't do that, on the bench, on a box, just like I showed you, on the, on the, um, the bed. One thing you can do today, B1, B2, is you can do the slow lowering and then right into your set of push-ups. That'll make it really hard. I'm gonna use dumbbells. If I wanted to go down to the basement and use the barbell, I could 100% do that. I think most of you guys probably don't have barbells right now, so we're gonna uh, demo the uh, dumbbells. So I'm gonna lean back. I'm gonna make sure to 
tuck my shoulder blades in together, and I'm gonna press straight up from my nipple line. Yay, nipples. Oh, don't look at my junk. So straight up, down to the nipple line. Again, if this is easy for me for sets of 10, I'm gonna slow the tempo down. Slow it down, control it. Right there, back up. If you don't have a bench, you can use the floor. Take your dumbbells, plant your feet, same position. Our elbows are gonna stop us this time though, okay? So we're gonna press straight up, down. I'm gonna show you without my legs, just so you can see both dumbbells straight up, down. If you wanna control the tempo, do it. Don't keep your feet straight like this. Make sure that you plant them, plant your feet. I've got my rower here, self-explanatory in terms of uh, the calories there. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show rowing form just, just yet. Um, and then my thrusters. Now here is the problem. My rower is here in the library. My dumbbells are here in the library. Let's find out what happens when I do a thruster. Oh God. <gasps> thruster is a squat to an overhead press. If you didn't hear that, that's the ceiling. So what in the world would I do? Right now it's nice outside, I would go outside. I would take my rower outside and I would do that. If it's raining, I don't have an option. One thing you can do is you can separate the two out. You can do your squats first and then your presses second from a half kneeling position, okay? If I was gonna do that, I would probably break it up. So I think the first round today is 18-18. I just touched my face, I got COVID. <laughs> I would do nine and nine on each side on the press, okay? So what I would do is I do my row. I go ahead and do my squats, hit 18 of those. And then because I don't have the clearance to press, I'm gonna go down on one side. If I want, I can put the dumbbell down and I'm gonna press overhead from a kneeling position. I'm gonna do nine on that side and then nine on the other, okay? If you want an extra challenge, you can glutton for punishment. You can hold the opposite in the front rack as you press overhead. Make sure that when you're pressing overhead that you keep your dumbbell or your hand, your arm, in line with your ear. Don't press forward, okay? Again, straight up, straight back down. If you are at home and you have absolutely no equipment, your workout is going to be a simple one today. It's going to be burpees and air squats. With a burpee, I drop down. I jump back up, little jump. That's my burpee. If I can't jump because of mobility restrictions, I put one leg back, one leg up. Small jump if I can. If I can't do that, use a bench or a box. Put your hands on the bench or the box. Put your feet back, stand up. There's your burpees. Air squats. Get a good squat stance, sit straight down. So guys, the process is simple. You're gonna go find an app called SugarWad. On SugarWad, you're going to be looking for Toro Training. That's my gym. You're going to then send an email. The email can be sent to Rob Eben, R-O-B-E-B-I-N at Gmail, and you're gonna say, yo, Rob, I wanna see the workouts. So if, I, if you sign up, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get a different workout every single day. Why was the end of Game of Thrones so bad? How much does it cost? Like five hundred thousand dollars, six hundred, ten rolls of toilet paper. What are we talking here? Fourteen ninety nine. I could buy at least one bottle of hand sanitizer with that. At least one. One of those little ones.